All right, now let me just swipe and open the quick panel. I will pull it further down to see a few more options on the top. And as you can see here, we've got an all new icon sitting right next to the finder icon. I just tap on this and here it is. Finally, we have got multi-user accounts feature on a Samsung Galaxy phones. Samsung has added this feature on a One UI 5.0 based on Android 13. This is a long awaited feature and I'm really glad to see this feature being added with this all new iteration of One UI. Before we go ahead and explore this feature, if you are someone who would love to know your phone better, then be sure you smash that subscribe button and become a part of Apex community. And if you find this video useful, take a second to smash that like button as well. Now let's go to settings. I will tap on accounts and backup. This is where Samsung has added this all new option called users. As you can see, we have users here. I'll just tap on this. Now here you can see we have the main account, which is called admin account. And I will be the admin on this phone. And I have got an option to add a guest. And I also have an option to add user. With this all new feature, we can create different user accounts with separate application data. What I mean to say is I can create a separate account for either myself or my family member, which can be logged in using different credentials. That is amazing. Now let me just show you how we can add a user. I just tap on add user. It says when you add a new user, that person needs to set up their space. Any user can update applications for all other users. Let me just tap on OK. Here we can choose a profile picture and add a username. I will just tap on OK. As you can see, it is creating a new user. Here it says switch to new user, allow phone calls and SMS, delete user. If you enable this allow phone calls and SMS toggle, no matter which user account is active on the phone, the phone will still notify you of the phone calls and SMS. Let me just enable this toggle. As you can see, it says if you allow this user to make calls and send text messages, your call and message history will be shared with them. So the second user will be able to see all the message and call history. So before enabling this toggle, just keep this in mind. I just tap on OK. Now we can switch to a new user by tapping on this. As you can see, it says set up user now. Make sure that the person is available to take the device and set up their space. Now, since I'm doing it for myself, I will just tap on setup now. As you can see, it is switching to a new user account. It is actually creating an all new space on the phone. Here it is. It says welcome. There are a couple of points to note here. The owner of this phone can uninstall applications or remove your space. And that is good. And then it says other users can accept updated application permissions. Let me just tap on start. As you can see, it's a brand new account and it looks as though you are setting up the phone for the first time. As you can see here, the same Wi-Fi has been connected on this account as well by default. I will just tap on next. Agree to all. Agree. It says getting your phone ready. This is the same screen we see whenever we log into the phone for the first time. Now this whole process takes a few minutes. Now here we will have to sign in with the Google account. If you're sharing the space with your family member, you can ask them to add their email ID or phone number and create the account. I just added another email ID here and I just created the user profile. And here it is. We have got a brand new user account on the Galaxy phone. This is fantastic. Now let me just pull down the quick panel. As you can see, we have got the user icon right on the top. I will just tap on this. Now here you can see I got two profiles set up here and we also have a guest account right here. Now if I have to switch back to my previous account, I can just tap on this option here. Now let's go back. I will tap on the calling app. Let me tap on recents. Now here if I tap on recents, I will be able to see all the call history or recent calls right here. And even the messages are available from the admin profile. Now if I tap on gallery, as you can see, there are no pictures or videos here. I'll tap on calendar. Again, there is nothing from the first profile here. So it's a completely private profile which has been created on the phone, which doesn't have any access to the first account. That is cool. Now let's switch back to the admin account. Let's see how long it's going to take to switch back. It is pretty quick. It takes just about five to six seconds to go back to the primary account. Let me again open the user accounts and select the second account which I just created. As you can see, it is switching to App Explore. Mm -hmm. 
and boom, we have got the second account within a few seconds. Now, I'm sure you will be wondering and you may want to ask this question whether you can switch between these accounts right from the lock screen or not. Yes, we can do that. Let me show you how. Now, this is the lock screen. I will just pull down the quick panel. Here, we have this icon on the top. The user accounts icon is right there on the top. I'll just tap on this. Right here, we can switch to another account and log in using the credentials. It would have been great if the phone could recognize the second user's fingerprint or the password and directly open the other account, but that is not allowed maybe for some security reasons or something, or maybe Samsung did not implement that. But I'm glad to see this option to log into the second account right from the lock screen. You can just swipe to open the quick panel and tap on the users and tap on the second or the third or the guest account, whichever you have set up on the phone and then log in using that credential. This is perfect. You let me know what do you think about this feature? Are you happy about it? Are you excited to use it on your phone? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you have any specific questions about this, do drop a comment. While you do that, you know what to do. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button for this video if you find it useful. There are loads of One UI 5.0 contents coming up for you guys, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.